hey guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm going to be reacting to lil duck pissed me off let's get into it okay you ain't get back for your man, you in the club like he ain't dead. Mm. Like he's ski mask for the COVID, the only time you niggas wear. Damn. Niggas ran inside my crib, but the first, let's go back. Ooh. I love how he came out attacking. I love when artists do that. Track opens up, they just go spitting. You ain't get back from your man, you in the club like he ain't dead. Nike ski mask for the COVID, the only time you niggas wear it. Ooh. Nike ski mask that is, you know, you have to mask up for COVID, but also Nike ski mask, the only time you niggas wear it. I just knew that I was missing something, which is why I kept coming back to it. I found I finally figured out what I was missing. So he said, you ain't get back for your mans. You're in the club like he ain't dead. That is, you've not avenged whatever happened to your friend. Why are you in the club throwing it up and, and dancing and, and throwing racks and enjoying your life as if your man, that is your friend, is not dead? Basically, street for... Somebody talked to you. You didn't tap them back. What's going on? Which now ties into Nike ski mask for the COVID, the only time you niggas wear it? That is the only time you wear a mask is when you're trying to protect yourself from COVID, which means one, you are a coward, which means two, because if you are supposed to go rob or kill or do something illegal, you're supposed to wear a ski mask to cover your face so that you don't get seen. That is, go avenge whoever killed your friend. But no, for you coward dudes, you wear the ski mask only for COVID to protect yourself. Ah, that's a bad <laughs> Ouch! I finally got it. That's a bar. Ah, that's a bar. Niggas ran inside my crib, but the block ten was by the bed. I kill my gun and end it before I put it in your hand. Ooh, India. If you don't, if you guys don't know, India is his baby mama that he causes. What you? The dog, go propose to India, by the way, because this whole thing about you with trans women, I hope it's not true. I love both of, I love duck with India. So do right by that woman. I love Poe, I can't be happy till we creep up on the scope. I know niggas like they pretty, but they bitches on the low. Hmm. All right. So obviously this track is a dark track. It's not on my own wavelength, but he's saying he lost bro. He can't be happy till he creeps up on the score. That is, he heavens the score. What did I say later? Somebody tapped you. You have to go tap them back on the streets because they are not, he's not a bitch. Creep up on the scope. I know niggas act like they pretty, but they bitches on the low. Mm. Why you niggas post a sun sun? Why you niggas post a show? Why you act like you support us if you do hop in that coat? Mm. Rob a girl if you ain't with it. So he's basically saying all of you that are now trying to capitalize off of King Von's death and you're not trying to be as you are not trying to pretend as if you guys were down for when when um Von was around. Stop with the cap. Basically, stop lying. You ain't with us when all of those are doing. If you are with us, then why don't you, you know, go bail out somebody from the group, go put some money in the bond, drop some money for a car, drop some money, you know, don't just Yab, yab, yab. This is it. Mm. Wow, I didn't know that Doc was this violent, was this much of a violent rapper. Until I pass out, I'm about to crash out. Bitch, you put him on your lab now, and he can't laugh now. No. I'm about to crash out. Make sure you name on your life. Now I know you can't laugh now. 
Did, was, didn't something happen where somebody was was getting on his live and, and talking about King Von's name and talking dirty on King Von's name and then they got him or something or they got somebody close to him? I'm not sure. I think you're acting as if you're from Chirac, like you're from Sh Chicago. <laughs> you're not from here. Oh, he got switches. Oh, he got bitches. He got bitches. You know that shit before the ground. I keep my dick. I keep my dick. Man, what? <laughs> do this shit with Vaughn, nigga. We do this shit with D-Dang, nigga. On Pluto, you're not a fucking rocker, man. Hear me? I don't do no talking on the internet, man. I don't got no fan base of... Oh, he a killer because he responded, nigga. You know the man, stop playing, man. Y'all just don't be hearing about that shit because there ain't nobody in me. One thing I don't understand about street dudes that rap is you're literally saying, uh, telling all of your business in your rap songs and on Instagram, and the feds are always watching. What are you doing? And they're building, oh, you know, they're building up cases around you. You know that. I don't, I just don't get it. You know, in Chicago, they got spot news, you hear me? You know, phone call, that shit splat news on my <laughs> Because splat, psh, they got you, you spot on the ground. They go check that, yeah, you hear me? Now, when you go check that shit, then come holler at me, man. Let's get it. Man, what? Man, what? Uh, I just wish this young man can be careful as well because while you're trying to warn your ups, you are telling your business to the feds as well and they are always watching, they're always creeping the internet and the YouTube streets. You guys just need to be more careful and let love live. Come on, forgive and forget but probably would never happen. That's the thing about when you're in the streets and somebody does something to your group. You're always looking to even the score and the score would never be balanced where both sides feel like, okay, now we've avenged enough because the, whoever <laughs> the other group will want to respond and vice versa. So it just keeps going on and on and on and on. And it hurts our community. It hurts the black and Hispanic community. I just wish we can all just be smarter, but apparently not. So... For what it was, the track itself, the production and everything is saying, I know it's a hit, I'll give that an 8, but for the low vibrational message, I'm not really for it. What do you guys think about the track? Let me know in the comments. And also, um, I did uh, other Lil Duck songs that are not this um, low vibrational message that are just, you know, him rapping that I can vibe to. Because it seems like a very good rapper. Put the uh, suggestions in the comments and I'll go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Bye!